Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. The world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and shall we nearing the end of days and the beginning of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's kingdom, the kingdom of God that will last forever. We are in the biblical end times now. This is the time of the great deception with the image of the beast and the mark of the beast going on. It's very much centered on the USA and very much centered on the black race and Barack Obama that that actually represents the seed of Satan. It's not all the black race they don't know. And it comes back to an awful lot of terrible things to do with Egyptian magic and things like that. But that's what this is, and it's actually going on. And it's happening here in the USA. This is Satan right here at the top of the pyramid. And he has the Democrats and Republicans try to fight each other. Their big goal is to try to destroy the USA just through trickery and deceit. Like the, the BLM riots and the police shootings. It's just a whole big smorgasbord of just junk. You know, and Joe Biden's part of this beast thing. That the murders and the killings going on in the schools is done from, you know, practically mind control and things and Satan and black magic. Just like Joe Biden came in on his plane right on time when the school shooting happened. Then he went right over to visit everybody over there. That's part of their same MO. This is, this is America right here. This is Washington, D.C. This is Jesus' Ark right here. And this is Washington, D.C. It's considered to be the bear. This is all meant to be together. These are the angels that fell right here, called the wicked tenants, and would want to throw Jesus out and steal inheritance. They want to try to burn the earth and have the phoenix fly. That's why you hear so many people want a nuclear rapture. They just want to die and leave. They want a nuclear war. Jesus beats everybody with plagues and saves the earth and rules the universe. It's about surviving and having heaven. So this is the bear, but this is all meant to be together. So these are the fallen angels, and Jesus will take the place there. They try to pull the souls out of here and have you go to sleep and try to convince people they would blow up the world. Like you hear some guy named Jonathan Kleck on, on YouTube all the time saying, when the bombs come down, we'll go up. And he keeps saying that Jesus will want to destroy the world, that Jesus has had enough of the world and wants to destroy the world. It's right in scriptures, Jesus saves the world. The bad guys want to destroy the world and try to go into heaven. This them right here. Oh, you're supposed to live. Jesus is God of the living. There's Barack Obama right there and Joe, and they want to burn the world in a nuclear apocalypse. There's, there's Donald Trump right there. His time was given to him one term, and they want to destroy Israel. It's right there. Jesus wants to save the world. There he is trying to convince the ready to destroy the world, the evil guy. There's Israel right there, and that's the aliens there at 51. They're even in your movies now, see? That's the image of the beast. If you turn on the NBA Finals right now, there will probably won't even be a single white person playing, maybe one or two. There's hardly any white football players anymore. Nearly every billboard is all black or gay. Yes, America's been given all their power. See, they're worshiping the image of the beast. And they wanted to have a nuclear apocalypse. His time's up now, but he's just like Pharaoh, has America basically, you know, stuck. These are ancient glyphs of Dendera. They believe in their image board magic. So that's why this, today I'm trying to teach some people some, some things about how this goes on. You can see his face actually right here. Like this is his eye. Like if you drew a line right down here, and you would come to his nose. See, and those would be his two lips. See, then his chin, right there. And that would be his cheek. See, there he is. That's the mask right now that everybody's wearing. And he wanted to walk over and try to get the phoenix to fly, to burn the earth just by being around. Just bitterness and deceit just come from him. It's the seed of Satan. See, just coming out of his penis even, right there. See, the Mexican's the same thing, just out of his penis. And then the white race has been messed up here in the USA. See the penis of Joe Biden? Yes, it, it actually, they take a mess with your seed. What it means to be damned is this. Like, say this tree was connected to your back and it represented the Holy Ghost. You're damned. Nothing comes out of your penis. Like, any of your children will not have the Holy Ghost. Any children born you won't be the Holy Ghost. You can track Joe Biden and see his deals with, with the death his wife has died. His daughter or son has died. He has death all through his family. It's part of trading your loved ones to go with him. See him trading his loved one? See, they trade their loved ones to make a deal 
That's what it talks about, like going and giving sacrifices to Balaam. And they normally sacrifice children. See the child? See Joe Biden with children. Everybody witness. Joe Biden with a dead child. You just saw that. You just saw him reenact that. You just witnessed that. He just did that down in inside of the, um, right here. Right there. There's Joe Biden with dead children. They even had little cardboard cutouts of the people's faces already. They already had big flatheads of all the children already ready. He got off the plane. The children were killed. He came right over here to news conferences. He came over to his meeting. They already have a giant fiasco over there for him. Huge. This is all set up for him. 666 Beast. And trying to get Jesus just to give up and blow up the world. That's all this comes down to. Now this is where we're going to talk about the magic. Like, how is it that all of a sudden just worshipping the image of the beast, black people on TV could be this? This is magic, guys. This is all Egyptian magic. You have to remember things about what's said in the Bible. They believe every word that Jesus says will cause you to your soul to be saved or damned. This is number two. You cannot have two masters. You will love one and hate the other. So the black race has you say you love them. And then you will begin to hate the white race. You will begin to hate Israel. Magically, you will start to disintegrate, come apart, rip apart. If you love one, you will hate the other. These are number two. You cannot have two masters. They represent number two, black, coal. Yes, the fallen angels chose not left their first estate and went to number two. So they have you say that you like them. Immediately when you say you like blacks, you start to not like other people. It's magical. Even in their seed line, this is what's messed up with them right now. Hidden inside the DNA, there is what's called a purgatory DNA strand. Whereas if they die, they get stuck back in time. Like they relive the same thing over and over again. Like you, These guys have already been white. Yes, they've already led a white life. And then when they go, they make a deal. And you come back black as a little baby. But you don't have the Holy Ghost. You've gone to number two. And that's why they don't want white superiority. You have a Holy Ghost with you. See, he's getting rid of Israel. See, and you go with them and you purgatory. You like loop. Which Jesus breaks the loops. That's why you see the show called Loopers. Yes. And then you end up breaking the loop. So that's all they have right now. They would blow up the world and hope to go back in time. And, and you know, purgatory. That's all they're doing right there. See, a purgatory loop. So there's a strand inside of the black race that's a purgatory loop. They're damned until the day of judgment. And then Jesus will fix everybody when you marry Jesus. In other words, you need Israel. And you need Jesus to marry everyone. And then you'll lose this curse. It's called a curse upon the black race. The fallen angels are bound in utter darkness until the day of judgment. They just loop. See, you're just purgatory. So they try to get the whites in there with them. See the Mexicans also with Montezuma's revenge, the dirty water. This is all real. So that's how they do their magic. That's why they keep saying, say her name. Say that you like blacks. Tell everyone you like the BLM. If you love one, you will start to hate the other. And the other is Israel. Now the kicker here is that it shows, all the evidence shows that these guys are actually from Mars. Yes, that the black race is actually not from, Amer from Earth. That long ago, when the fallen angels blew up Mars and took a deal to go into the Matrix, see Matrix beds, you take one dream, that they blew up Mars and that they sent people here. And that they've tried to start to take the American dream. So you only get one dream if you blow up the world. So they're all stuck in like looping, like watching Tom Selleck movie over and over and over again. A one Top Gun movie over and over and over and over again. Whereas we can have dreams forever with Jesus. He can keep making dreams. So they've come here to steal the American dream. Yeah, even back to Martin Luther King. This is the apocalypse. This is what it is. So that's why they have you all on TV and you start to like blacks. You buy a jersey for them. And if you start to like blacks, you'll start to hate Israel. You'll start to go against the white race. You'll start to not want guns. You'll start to want abortions. You'll start to bend to their way. Yes, so that's their whole plan here, black magic, to take down the USA and to just make everything terrible. There they are right there. It's all right here. We just saw that. That's Washington, D.C. So just know that's the magical aspect to them. That's why they're all on TV. Those guys don't know, but they're all on TV doing that. 
Here's the bad guy doing these things. Washington, D.C. See this guy coming down right here? It's big on taking half. Now realize that the Vietnam War was fake. Yes, the Korean War was fake. Why? These guys want you to do what's called take half. So they will not stop with their symbolism. In the Korean War, America stopped halfway and made a truce. Yeah, you made a truce. The North and the South is cut in half in Korea. Just as the USA, the North and South was cut in half through there. See? So you stop half. The Vietnam War. All American soldiers knew that it was the Washington, D.C. stopping everything. Every Vietnam soldier will tell you the number one enemy was Washington, D.C. in the Vietnam War. They wouldn't let us win. And then they made everybody leave halfway. You took 50%. You took 50%. And this is the fallen angel right here. And he wants you to blow up the world. So he comes down like a bomb right there. The five, the little horn. And he wanted to blow up the world. Take half. See, this half goes to Jesus, dead. Then he wanted the tree. And he wanted white people to be subservient to him. And Israel at his feet. Right there. And he would even sacrifice his wife. They sacrificed their loved ones. Just as he lost his son and wife. It's called sacrificing your loved ones to Balaam. Just as you saw him going, look, him with children. There's Joe Biden with children. Right there. And you just saw it on Memorial Day weekend. Joe Biden visiting dead children. Same picture. Same exact picture. Joe Biden visiting dead children of Israel. You represent Israel, everyone. All these children represent the children of God. And they will make war on you. That's what it says in the Bible. That they will make war on us all. The beast would have the feet of a bear. Right there. The feet of the bear. And it was given unto him to make war to saints. And to overcome them. And power was given over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. See, making war on the saints. On the children, right there. Making war on the children. Then he will torment you. I mean, he just came in on a plane. <laughs> and then the shooting happened, he went right over and visited. Just like Sandy Hook again. I mean, they're very big on what's called U-turns. Like, deja vu. They're all magical. They want deja vu. Like, over and over and over again. Remember, they want redundancy. Remember, they're stuck in purgatory. They just loop. So they want redundancy. Sandy Hook killing underneath Barack Obama. Now you do a, a killing with Joe Biden. Now they love what's called a U-turn. U-turn the five. See, U-turn the five. Is there anything to show that about this through here? About like this thing here. See the five and a U-turn? Is there anything about this event that represents a U-turn and a five? Like deja vu. U-turn, five, all die. Yeah, U-turn, five, all die. Just like the new supermarkets, A-L-D-I, all die. They want the whole world to burn. Everybody to go through death. See, they want death to win, not Jesus, which makes everyone live. Like you see all those people talking about dying and getting into heaven. Jesus saves us, man. <laughs> Jesus is here to save us and defeat death. These guys are trying to blow their way into the door. See, this is the door over here to the temple. That's the temple of God, Israel. See, the, the blacks trying to blow their way into the temple. Right there. See, blow their way into the temple of God. Right there, with aliens. Right there. The black race that is not allowed in. You have to remember that heaven is like a pasture. There is a black pasture. And there is a white pasture. Every single person on this earth is considered white. Even China. Even Russia, everybody. There's only one set of black people. The Negro. The knee. They're called the knee. Right there. They are not the same as the rest of the human race. They're not. They're not. They're actually linked back to Mars. So if you die as a Negro, you go to a Martian dream. Yes. Everybody else gets what's called Jesus pastures. Yeah. See, these guys want to get in with what? Boom. The white girls. The Chinese girls. The Asian girls. That's what they're doing here in the USA. The black guys are screwing everything. That's in the Bible. This is Revelation 12, 17. The seed of Satan versus the seed of woman. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God has risen from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The dragons after the woman. Right there. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. 
and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That means with the black penis, they're attacking us, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ.